Marcus and Markeef, the Morris twins. Both came into the league back in 2011. They were consecutive picks in the 2011 NBA Draft, 13th and 14th. Both played together in Phoenix for almost three seasons. Now one is playing in LA and the other one, well, he's also playing in LA, just for different teams. Even their career stats are very similar, but who of them really is better? Hey guys, Purple Prince here and let's try to figure out which Morris twin has really been the better player. Now, most of the analysts and basketball people are quick in saying that Marcus Morris is way better than Markeith, but is he really? Sure he has that one half a season in the Knicks uniform where he averaged almost 20 points per game, and after signing his new deal with the Clippers he's way ahead in career earnings as well, but let's dig through this before we state a fact. Let's look all the way back to their college days. Both went to the University of Kansas, again the same, what a shock right? Marcus was the team's starting forward while Markeith came more off the bench. In three years of college basketball, on an average of 24 minutes per game, Marcus averaged 12.6 points and 6.2 rebounds on 55.5% shooting from the field and 35.8% shooting from the three. Markeith, in 19.3 minutes per game, managed to average 8.5 points and 6.1 rebounds on 55.3% shooting from the field and 40.4% from the three. And you know what happens when you round out those numbers per 36 minutes? Marcus 18.9 points per game and 9.3 rebounds, Markeith 15.9 points per game and 11.4 rebounds. So again pretty similar, Marcus scored more while Markeith crashed the boards, but the lack of numbers for Markeith could be contributed to the lack of opportunity and playing time. Overall though, pretty similar. And if you still don't think they were similar, what about the draft? Marquis was drafted first with the 13th overall pick by the Phoenix Suns, and right after him, the Houston Rockets took Marcus with the 14th pick. In his very first NBA game, Marcus played just 4 minutes and 20 seconds, missed both of his field goals and collected 2 personal fouls. In total, he played just 17 games in his rookie season. Markeith, on the other hand, played 24 minutes and 54 seconds and scored 7 points, grabbed 9 rebounds and added 2 assists, 2 steals and 2 blocks to his stat line. So as far as the first NBA game, this one definitely goes to Markeith. He also played 63 games in his rookie season, so way more experience right from the get-go. As far as the numbers for the whole season, Marcus 7.4 minutes per game, 2.4 points and 0.9 rebounds on 29.6% shooting from the field and 11.8% from the three. Markeith, 19.5 minutes per game, 7.4 points, 4.4 rebounds on 39.9% shooting from the field and 34.7% from the three. The Rookie of the Year award goes to Markeith. During his second season, Marcus was traded from Houston to Phoenix and now he could play with his brother. Both were marginal starters and both got similar playing time, so there's no surprise that their stats also became eerily similar. For the 2012-13 season, Marcus averaged 19.8 minutes, 7.7 .7 points and 3.6 rebounds. Markeith, 22.4 minutes, 8.2 points and 4.8 rebounds. They played together for two more full seasons in Phoenix. Markeith was coming off the bench for the whole 2013-14 season and then started the whole 14-15 season while Marcus started some games here and there in both seasons. Both twins signed a contract extension with the Suns in 2014, but it just wasn't meant to be. In the summer of 2015, Marcus was traded to the Detroit Pistons. That obviously didn't sit well with Markeith, so it was clear that it's just a matter of time before he leaves Phoenix as well. And it happened. Before the 2016 NBA season trade deadline, he was dealt to the Wizards. Meanwhile, in Detroit, Marcus was a full-time starting small forward for the Pistons. He set up new career highs in points and rebounds, and in total of two seasons in Detroit, averaged 14.1 points and 4.8 rebounds. Even though his contributions to the Pistons organization were noticeable, after just two years with the team, he was traded to the Boston Celtics. If anything, he improved in Boston and after two years with the Celtics signed his biggest contract yet with the Knicks. His career in New York wasn't a long one, since just 43 games in, he was traded to the LA Clippers where he finished last season. Markeith, on the other hand, played almost four seasons in Washington, but by the end of his tenure there, his role was starting to diminish. Towards the end of 2018-19 season, he was traded to OKC, where he ended the season as an afterthought, playing only 16.1 minutes per game. 
Since they're twins, they think alike, so Markeith also tried his luck in Detroit. His stint there ended after just 44 games, then he was waived and then he was picked up by the Lakers. We all know how that ended. He played an important role for the Lakers and in the process, he became an NBA champion. So now, both brothers had a chance to play together again. Both were free agents, both had expressed their desire to return to their team from last season, and there was some rumbling about Markeith choosing the Clippers over the Lakers, especially when Marcus signed a new 4-year $61 million deal with them. But Markeith decided to stick with the winner team, on a much lesser deal, 1-year veteran minimum. So next season we'll see both of them again, going against each other. But the question still remains, who really is the better twin? The Clippers want to say that Marcus is the better one, the Lakers are happy with Markeith, so what's going on? Well, Marcus is probably more versatile, he's been like that for his whole career. Markeith has played exclusively at the power forward spot, while Marcus has been switching between power forward and small forward, he's more versatile in my opinion, but that could be because he's been around in better basketball systems, like the Celtics for example. On the other hand, Keith is bigger and more physical, so if you have enough wing players, then Markeith is probably the choice for you. It's so interesting because in college, Marcus was better, then Markeith was drafted first, he was given more opportunity and was more productive. Now, Marcus gets more playing time, is more focal on offense and gets better stats. It's like they switch their roles every 3-4 to four years, so maybe next season Markeith will be the better twin again. You never know with twins. What I do know though is that it will be fun to see both of them going against each other, in the same city, but from different teams. And while Marcus can show off the bigger contract between the twins, Markeith is the one who will be wearing the ring in the reunion party. Thanks for watching the video guys, which one is the better twin, Marcus or Markeith? Who would you want on your team and why? Please leave a comment down below with your answer. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and watch other videos on my channel. Thanks for everything. This is Purple Prince and I'm out.